You know, when I first started my online business, I was just like many of you, full of dreams, but completely clueless. I remember sitting at my kitchen table, staring at my laptop, feeling like I was standing at the edge of a cliff, ready to jump, but terrified of what lay below. I had this burning desire to create something of my own, to build a life where I could wake up excited about my day. But the fear of failure loomed large. I mean, who doesn't worry about failing, right? It's like this shadow that follows you around, whispering all the reasons why you shouldn't even try. But here's the thing. Every successful entrepreneur you see online started from somewhere. They all had that moment of doubt, that question of, can I really do this? So I decided to take the plunge. I began by researching everything I could get my hands on. I watched countless YouTube videos, read blog posts, and joined forums. And let me tell you, the information out there is overwhelming. It's like being a kid in a candy store. You want to try everything, but you can't because you'll end up with a stomach ache. I focused on finding my niche. What was I passionate about? What could I talk about for hours without getting bored? I realized I had a knack for digital marketing, and that's where I decided to plant my flag. I started small, offering my services on freelance platforms, and slowly built a portfolio. It wasn't glamorous, let me tell you. I took on projects that paid peanuts just to get my foot in the door, but every little success fueled my fire. Then came the moment of truth. I needed to create a brand. I spent nights that brainstorming names, designing logos, and crafting my online presence. I remember the first time I hit publish on my website. I was shaking. What if no one visited? What if it was a total flop? But I had to remind myself that every big journey starts with a single step. I began to market myself through social media. I shared tips, insights, and my own experiences. It was a slow burn at first, like watching paint dry. But as I kept posting, I started to connect with people. I realized that authenticity was key. People were drawn to my story, my struggles, and my triumphs. They didn't just want to see success. They wanted to see the real me behind the business. As my audience grew, so did my confidence. I started offering online courses, webinars, and even one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. I was terrified of putting myself out there, but I knew I had valuable knowledge to share. And guess what? People responded. They were eager to learn, and I was thrilled to help them. But let's be real. There were setbacks. There were days when I felt like giving up, when I'd pour my heart into a project only to see it flop. I had to remind myself that failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of it. Each setback taught me something new, and I learned to pivot to adapt, and to keep moving forward. Now, looking back, I realized that building my online business was not just about making money. It was about creating a community, empowering others, and finding my voice. I went from zero to hero, not just in terms of revenue, but in self-confidence and purpose. So, if you're standing at that cliff, unsure of whether to jump, I'm here to tell you, take the leap. Embrace the uncertainty. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Your dreams are waiting for you on the other side. And trust me, the journey is worth every moment of fear and doubt. You got this.